the situation is that there is enormous resource uh, extraction which is done by the private sector but giving very little back people are trying to resist in their own different ways but there is a place where we find that the stranglehold of corporates is so strong and we find that they are able to very easily through corruption bypass all these laws then basically the ultimate weapon of theirs is coercion and violence in different forms against people and it goes to very severe extents i mean even sexual violence issues have been there there have been cases where women who refusing to give up land have been threatened and even rape has been committed upon them so there is there is an enormous aura of violence which surrounds this it might not be very visible it might not be reported about but there is an enormous amount of violence which goes on the adivasis in the villages or the farmers they are all looked upon as these are the road blocks we have to get them out of the way so that you know we can have more mining and more plants and more industry and the people who we think are road blocks are really actually the people who are preserving those resources for us they are, they are the ones who are actually forcing us to rethink this entire model and uh, i think it's time to listen to them <laughs>